As the demand for a vaccine for COVID-19 heightens, a group of researchers from the Peter Doherty Institute and Monash University has discovered a readily available drug that could kill the virus in 48 hours. Let's bring in Professor Kylie Wagstaff from the Monash Biomedicine Discovery Institute. Um, Professor, this is... We're being cautiously optimistic here, but any reason for optimism at the moment we're clinging to. This really is fantastic news. Tell me how it was discovered. Right, so we've looked at ivermectin for about 10 years now um, at the groups at Monash, and we've found that it works on a number of different viruses in the lab. So once we had access to the COVID-19 causative virus in Australia, then we were able to test whether ivermectin also worked on it. Can you just, sorry, what's the drug and what is it normally used for? Sure. Ivermectin is a really important drug. It's been around for about 30 years. And it's used around the world to treat a number of parasite, medication, uh, parasite indications, largely worms. We don't know it as commonly in Australia because a lot of the diseases that it's used to treat aren't as common here as they are in other parts of the world. I, I, can't, I can't imagine the reaction uh, when you, you trialled this and saw just how effective it, it had been. Um, it has shown really positive signs of killing the virus, enough positive signs that you think it could work in humans? Sure. It's really, it really works very well inside the cell culture, but I have to say that cells in a dish is not really the same as a virus inside a human, so that's the next step. We need to see whether... The dosages that we know are safe and able to be given to people are able to work on the virus still, and then we can translate the findings into humans. How did you discover this? Because if it's a drug that's normally used for <laughs> parasites and, you know, lice hair treatment, how did you put that together? <laughs> so we didn't actually think about it in those terms. What we did years ago was a screen for compounds that might work against a range of viruses, and ivermectin came up in those screens. And because ivermectin actually works against one of, the, one of our own innate mechanisms, it means it's able to work against a number of different viruses. And so we hypothesised that COVID-19 might be using those same mechanisms, and then therefore this might work. What a brilliant hypothesis. However you got there, we're thrilled that you did. Um, when could we expect to see this drug? Are you at that stage yet when you're trying to plan when it might be able to be given to people? Look, it's a really important question, and I know that's the one everybody wants the answer to, but it is really hard for us to say at this stage. There are a number of critical tests we need to do. What we need to figure out is what are the safe dosages that we can use this at in humans and how might that affect the virus? And then if those are all still promising, then we can think about moving it into people. Oh, my gosh. We are really excited. Everyone, I'm sure, is. Professor Carly Wagstaff, thank you and good luck. Thank you. Thank you.